Hello everybody and welcome to our channel again and today I'm presenting you this very particular bureau I think it's a little bit neglected but uh, in a good shape so that that thing is coming off so we'll take this off and uh, it's a little bit stiff and at the bottom we have massive cupboard that well plenty of space but no shelf so we're gonna install the shelf and a uh, little bit of discoloration, nothing too major. Top looks okay. And without further ado, let's start working on it. And by saying this, Lucas already started to take it apart without even considering recording something for the YouTube video. So basically what we've done, everything, every single part was separate and we started um, doing proper work on it. I think this is how it's called. So the cabinet has been taken apart completely. Every single bit was uh, separate and we've started ever so exciting sanding process. Um, this is the bottom of the cabinet. So it's a solid wood, two uh, solid wood boards glued together, stick together. And um, so it was quite difficult to sand them down, but there was no uh, danger of going through the veneer because there was no veneer of this piece. Um, 80 followed by 150 grit sanding paper and it was done. Uh, I show you a little bit of the footage of a front uh, door because that piece was veneered so we had to be uh, more careful with the way how it's been approached. So just like I said every single piece was sanded down to get rid of the old, old, sorry, old varnish and uh, well, enjoy watching. Lucas Sanding. So after all the pieces were sanded down and cleaned, it was time to apply stain. Uh, we've used this one and it's a dark oak, just to give it uh, a little bit of a color because as you can see, they're quite light and plain and you can't really see the grain on it, wood grain and, it's, and it's, those pieces are solid wood. So we thought we're gonna give them some color. <laughs> should I say and Lucas uh, is using foam brush I think I think this is how it's called professionally but for me it's just a, a sponge on a stick and uh, he just needs to make sure that everything is covered and it's quite evenly and then wipe all the excess off and and you can see the difference straight away you can see that the wood grain looks 
more visible and uh, well, it looks a little bit better, I think. So we, apply, we applied uh, uh, this wood grain on all the pieces that were sanded down just to give it a little bit more color. So next step, Osmo Oil, as you probably know, our favorite in gloss and sorry for the camera, I don't know what's happening with that one, but it's driving me mad, mad. I had, um, I'm not tech enough to, to stop from doing this. Um, maybe I'll get a new camera at some point to get a better footage. Anyway, going back to Osmo Oil, uh, we use that particular one. Uh, just like I said, it's gloss and uh, this is just the first coat and I think as far as I remember this part is the top one on the left hand side yeah that's the top on the left so oil application we've we've done three uh, coats on um, parts that we've decided uh, to keep the wood so this is the, the top and uh, always follow the manufacturer's um, advice when it comes to applying Osmo oil. That one is uh, quite easy. We apply, leave it overnight, wait for it to dry, go hard, and uh, then sand with a steel wool in between, very, very light just to make sure that it's smooth and nice and then apply another coat and just like I said repeat the process um, three or four times till you're happy with the result. So we put the uh, oiled pieces aside and it was time for me to paint. These are the sides of this uh, bureau cabinet and I've decided to paint them black and yes I did paint the uh, wood and I'm sorry for those who are screaming just now no please do not paint this but well I've done it. <laughs> so a simple um, sponge roller and uh, this particular paint, fusion mineral paint, is coal black and it applies really nice and it leaves like really nice uh, color. It's uh, like matte color, I would say, and uh, it's really nice uh, when it dries and it's self-leveling, so easy job and it's very quick. It doesn't matter whether I apply it with a roller or a brush, it just covers beautifully. gold leaf time. So I've got this 
glue, gold leaf glue that I got from Amazon, same as a uh, gold leaf, nothing special, just, just a normal gold leaf and that's it. So this is the, let me have a look here, this is the uh, lid of the bureau, it's inside, uh, this is the part where this uh, leathery thing used to be and we've took it off and uh, clean it out and, and sand it and uh, as you can see I'm using sponge to apply the glue because I didn't want the uh, glue to be like uh, uh, what's the word I'm looking for again like solid so so the the gold leaf <laughs> when I applied it uh, it wasn't solid it was it was looking like it was well used and uh, with some holes and uh, missing bits and pieces. And that part is the inside uh, shelf uh, of the bureau and we applied the gold leaf as well. Uh, so it looks uh, the same, the inside bottom shelf and uh, lid of the bureau has ha, will have, sorry, the same squares of the gold leaf. So I started taking off the uh, gold leaf with the brush as I would, I would normally do but um, I do have my hoover connected as well so it's um, collecting all the gold leaves um, that it's been uh, taken off so there's no mess because I don't know if you're aware but the gold leaf is very <laughs> uh, thin light so when you're taking the gold leaf off it's just just a gold leaf everywhere so I've, I've decided I can I can just hold the hoover next to it so it can hoover the uh, gold leaf uh, straight away and uh, with the I've later on I've decided okay there is a brush on the hoover why not use the brush that it's actually attached to the hoover and take the gold leaf off and it was just a uh, mess free gold leaf uh, apl application remover I think that's an idea. So after we finished uh, the gold leaf, it was time to apply some lacquer varnish on it. And we've used polyvine in gloss to uh, secure uh, varnish, uh, not varnish, secure varnish, secure gold leaf from uh, any other accidental remover, as well as uh, you have to seal your uh, gold leaf because otherwise uh, it will go green with the uh, it will lose its color and it will turn green because it's a it's not real gold i think it's something that it will lose the color so when you apply varnish on it it will not lose its color it shouldn't anyway Final job before putting all the uh, pieces back together again and make it a solid uh, bureau. Uh, it was actually getting, uh, it was making the shelf for the bottom uh, cupboard because uh, I'm sure you remember at the beginning of this video I showed you the cupboard, um, the bottom cupboard. It was just massive hole and it was crying for a shelf. So we got ourselves this uh, rustic board, oak board, that it wasn't really. Uh, nicely cut so we had to cut it to make it even and sh make it nice angles and everything because it was just not very good um, not very nicely done should I say 
uh, as you can probably see. So we made the shelf and uh, just like other parts, the top of the shelf was uh, treated with oil and uh, bottom of it, it was painted black. So the shelf was done and we put the whole piece back together again. And this is how it looks like. This is the uh, top cabinet now. We got rid of the dividers and we put some gold leaf at the back just to give it a little bit more light because we painted it black and it, we, didn't want it, we didn't want it to be too dark. And this coloration disappeared from the uh, top door and this is the inside with the new installed shelf. And again, there's more gold leaf at the back. And because we didn't paint black the bottom and the shelf, the shelf is just black underneath. It's quite bright uh, inside. It's not really dark and gloomy. And um, just like I said, we've added some gold, gold leaf at the back as well to give it a little bit more light. And well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. And I hope I'll see you in our next video. Bye bye.